Hello and welcome to Relaxation Hypnosis for Stress, Anxiety and Panic Attacks. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. My name is Jason Newland. And please subscribe to this podcast so that you can be notified of all the gloriously new recordings that may arrive at some point. So this is going to be a relaxation session. There may be Hopefully there shouldn't be too much in the way of background sounds. There might be the odd one. But I am sitting in my garden shed in my bedroom. Which is kind of my recording studio. (laughs) So I'm hoping it's going to be fairly quiet. There will be two versions of this recording. One with, one without music. So... I hope you enjoy. And the idea really for this recording is to give yourself a break. You know, give yourself some time out. Ideally, get away from whoever you're with. So if you're at home with whoever, maybe try go to a different room, put some headphones on, the podcasts are much clearer with headphones used, and then my suggestion would be either to sit in a comfortable chair, one that supports your body in the event of you falling asleep or to lie down on your bed. If you don't want to fall asleep or you don't want to be asleep for any amount of time, you know, maybe set your alarm to wake you up in the event of falling asleep because apparently my voice is not quite as exciting as I thought it was. So you may get bored and just your mind may wander, 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 start just drifting, you know, which is natural. It's natural for that to happen. Yet at the same time, we are also focusing so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk to you I'm not going to focus on your body I'm just going to talk about feeling relaxed Now, one of the good things about feeling relaxed is it's natural. You know, if it was food, it would be the most organic, naturally produced food possible, pure, in fact. Just, you know, falling asleep the same is also very natural. So being able to feel relaxed, to let go of that tension, is actually really easy. 
you could say that holding on to tension is the hard part. It's like when you clench your fists. You can only do it for so long before it becomes painful, too uncomfortable and you have to let go. But while you're doing that, chances are the rest of your body would get tense as well. Or if you tense your jaw, you know, get all angry. It sends a signal to the rest of your body. And sometimes people that are stressed and angry and, you know, all tensed up. It's almost like they're trying to keep it going. Because maybe a lot of people could feel that that's their way of coping. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because they're doing their best in that moment. So telling someone, oh, you shouldn't do that, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't shouldn't feel tense, you that's never gonna be helpful. Criticizing people, it's not helpful. People no one likes to be criticized. I'd say most people we do our best. Even if it's not doing or having the positive effect that we would like for ourselves. We could just listening to me talking gently. You may notice your body's starting to feel more relaxed. Maybe your breathing has slowed down a little bit. Perhaps the back of your neck feels a bit more looser and your shoulders maybe sinking down into the bed or just sinking a little bit in the chair. If you've got your eyes closed, you may notice that your forehead and your eyes just feel so much different to how they did before you decided to listen to me. And this is your natural state. Feeling relaxed is our natural state. You think back to when you was a baby, and you're not going to remember that. You know, none of us remember what it was like when we were, you know, five days old. But feeling relaxed and calm, and sleepy, and just chilling out without a care in the world, is how we were born. That's one of the benefits of being a human being. For most humans, we're born into safety. Without predators, with someone to care for us and to do everything for us. I know that's not the case for everybody, but I'm going to generalize in the sense of positivity. And the human baby is the only baby that literally can't do a single thing for itself. Out of all the other animals, it's 
So a baby doesn't know or even experience consciously the need to feel tense or the, the need to run or to hide or to be worried or be concerned about anything other than when the baby's hungry or maybe the baby's teething you know, it's got a pain but it can't express it other than by crying so we're born with this ability to relax deeply And it doesn't take any effort to relax. It's more a case of putting less effort into feeling stressed and tense. by just letting go of that stuff. Really, genuinely letting it go to the point of not caring. And I know some people would say, well, I can't let go of it because I do care about it. And we all have things that we care about. But letting go of it for half an hour, 20 minutes, 50 minutes, whatever, that's not about, you're not letting go of it forever, you're not, not caring about it anymore. You're not caring about it for the next 30 minutes or 50 minutes. And it's okay because you've given yourself permission to do that. Because that way, you'll have more energy to deal with that stuff that's going on. After the relaxation you feel more relaxed, more able to deal with whatever life throws at you. In a increased comfortable way. And I know the idea of just Letting go of everything and not caring about one single thing while you listen to me may seem almost alien. Might seem weird, but it's not as weird as my beard. Trust me. It's fine to let go. It's useful for you to let go. So even in an extreme situation where you might have a loved one in hospital, when you listen to me, you can forget about that person just for the duration. You're not really forgetting about them, but you're not worrying about them. You're not thinking about them. Just allowing your brain and your mind to just tip itself upside down and just clear all that stuff out and empty it. And at the end of the recording, when you open your eyes, nothing 
external would have changed. It's not like you're going to open your eyes and not be able to remember what it was, you know, about loved ones needing your help or job issues or whatever it might be. But you may feel differently. You may notice that you're more able to to embrace what's happening with positivity, with the reality that things will be okay and you're going to do whatever you can with a sense of calmness inside that gives you that little bit extra support for yourself. Because the best person to support you is you. Be your own cheerleader. Support yourself on. There's no one better to do it than yourself. You may know people that you feel calm around. And that's good to be around people like that. But it means more if that calmness comes from within you. Because that's, that way you're not relying on anyone else. You're not relying on anything external. You're just allowing these natural sense of relaxation that you were born with to just be there with you wherever you are whatever you're doing whoever you're talking to there can be a sense of wellness a sense of well-being almost a, a very comfortable sturdy foundation that follows you wherever you go stable something you can rely on and the best person to rely on is yourself you're the only person that spends 24 hours a day with yourself every day of your life from the second you're born you've been with yourself nobody else has been with you that whole time the most important voice that you'll ever hear is your own the most influential voice you'll ever hear is your own internal voice it's more influential to you and to how you feel than anything external which is why noticing the things that you say to yourself And embracing positive thoughts and wishing well for yourself and expecting more comfort to spread through your body and your mind. Knowing that any future thoughts that you have or things that you may say or opinions that you may say to yourself about yourself will be coloured, will be affected positively by 
this calmness that is within you. Always within you. Always has been. This calm relaxation has always been with you. Wherever you've gone, whatever you've done, it's always been available. But maybe you didn't realize that it was there. Let's face it, if tension is always available, then relaxation is always available. Of course, you can't have two at the same time. But there always has to be the opposite. This doesn't mean that you're going to walk around with a smile on your face 24 hours a day in some kind of um, weird, spooky movie without a care in the world. It means that you're going to be a human being just as you already are. But able to notice how the calmness inside you positively affects your thoughts and your behavior going forward. Because positive thoughts are so powerful. So powerful. And don't you deserve to feel happier within yourself. Don't you deserve to appreciate yourself more? Don't you deserve to allow yourself to get in touch with just how amazing you are? And all the possibilities that lie in front of you. Because allowing more of that positive, relaxing calmness to spread through your body and in your mind. Allowing that to happen giving yourself permission to feel more comfort and more relaxation because that's what you want. Not because I'm saying it, but only because that's what you want. Because you're in charge, you're the boss. Nobody can make you feel anything. You can choose to feel relaxed. You can choose to be able to deal with everything that life presents to you. With a sense of positivity. With a sense of optimism. And with self-love. Reminding yourself that. You can't do everything yourself. All you can do is your best. And to maybe start. To appreciate yourself. 
a bit more. Allow the positivity and creativity connected to release in this relaxation and calmness. can improve your day-to-day -day life second by second, minute by minute. Feeling more comfortable and more able to enjoy looking forward towards the future with self-belief, with self-love, and with deep, deep relaxation. 